Look at Junior go. Up to fourth. Here comes Bobby Labonte pushing through. Junior to the outside of Mayfield for third. Seven's coming with you. Seven's coming. Mike Seven's Wallace coming is with coming with him. You can hear Ty Norris tell me he got help on the outside, Junior. There's Blaney Block in the 93. And what about Benson? They're going to stay on the bottom of the racetrack. I think they're going to give the outside to Junior. Jeff Gordon getting black flag by NASCAR. Here's Dale Jr. to the outside of Dave Blaney for second spot. Mayfield pushes him along in the draft. Still there, still there. To the outside for the lead in turn four. Dale Earnhardt Jr. rockets to the front at Daytona. Listen to the crowd. And look at this crowd behind him. Look at this race behind him. Frantic, intense racing in the final laps at Daytona. But it's still Dale Earnhardt Jr. out in front. They've got to take the win away from him. Tony Urie Jr. is clapping, saying, come on, Jr., come on. Two to go. And Dale Earnhardt Jr. trying to block, trying to keep those cars behind him. Desperately trying to keep them behind him. He runs so good through the corner, he lets him get a run on him down the straightaway. Michael Waltrip dives underneath Bobby Labonte. They bump on the backstretch. Waltrip to second. Elliott Sadler and Rusty Wallace with him. Now, two team cars race in the one and two positions. That's who Dale needs to see in his rearview mirror right now. That's the best thing he can see. Will Michael Waltrip block for Dale Jr.? Will he try to win the race himself? White flag is up. Final lap at Daytona. 180,000 on their feet, screaming wildly. Two and a half miles to go. Just exactly the opposite of the Daytona 500. It was 15 and 8. Elliott Sandler is trying to keep Bobby Labonte behind. He can't do it. But he does move down in front of Rusty Wallace on that fast line. Looking for some help, trying to get up there. His teammate, Tony Stewart, has never answered the black flag. And they're four wide, back between the Wallace boys. Here they come, turn four, final lap of the Pepsi 400. Michael Waltrip in second, but it's going to be Dale Earnhardt Jr. Using lessons learned from his father to go from sixth to first and score the victory with a Pepsi 400. That's, that's unbelievable. Yes! A man behind you did it, boy. Yes. You got to celebrate. Love you, man. You did it. That was beautiful. Very, nice. very nice. Junior, you're happy. All right. Look at that off. smile. Wow. I don't think there's anybody here that didn't want to see that. Sentimental favorite. Emotional favorite. Earlier in the broadcast, we talk among ourselves some of the moves he made on the track today. Looked like his father behind the wheel. I am speechless. That wasn't like the old man. I don't know what was, Tony Sr. I, he had a good teacher. He, uh, he told him a lot about this place. He loves this place. Hell, listen to them fans up there. They love that kid to death. I saw you look to the heavens with a few laps to go. What did you say? Well, he said he knew he could beat him. We just didn't know what was going to happen. Remember when we've seen this before? <laughs> and Steve Mills joining the fray now. Yeah, man. D.I.'s tough. D.I.'s tough. We can celebrate. What a finish at Daytona. Dale Jr. on top of the car in the infield. The 1998 Daytona 500, when his father finally won the Great American Race. He threw the car into the grass doing victory donuts. Everybody joining in the celebration. That's Chocolate Myers. Long time proven for Dale at Richard Childress Racing. Six laps. All right, Mikey. 
You celebrate too. You never got to celebrate your win in February. You celebrate now. Man, that was just so cool. Storybook ending. Ha, 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 ha.